Hey, what's going on? This is Satekian in Christ, and I'm coming to you today to give you a little solution that I use um, for my home network. I know there are people out there that suffer from network uh, uh, congestion, and they have issues uh, with uh, streaming games, especially if you have more than one kid. Me, personally, I have two kids, and in an earlier video, I told you how we use uh, three different systems in order to um, play together as we do like a, a co-op games like uh, Fortnite. So one else on PlayStation, one is on Xbox, and I'm usually on my laptop. Also, my wife is typically watching um, YouTube videos or Netflix and things of that nature while we are gaming um, downstairs. So that creates a network issue. Um, and this was the solution that I used to fix it. I was doing a lot of searching, so I'm thinking if I can help you guys out, uh, that'd be great. That'd be useful. I can get, but anyway, I live in the Midwest and in the Chicagoland region, and we have the privilege to have, uh, two major choices, Comcast and AT&T. Um, I used Comcast and today added extra hundred bucks. Uh, so then I flipped over to AT&T, which is included with my cell phone package and I'm a teacher. So I get a nice size discount. Uh, so that is what I use, but I'm, but I'm only getting a hundred megabytes down in the specific area that I'm staying at now. So when you order AT&T, they give you this router here. Now with, make sure I'm holding it right for the mic. Uh, they give you this router here. Uh, this is a modem router combo. Uh, the modem pulls in about a hundred megabytes and they have, uh, the router functionality as well. And typically most people just use this. They have these ethernet ports on the back, but the problem with this is you have connection issues. If you have a house like mine, my house was built back in the sixties. So, uh, I have connection issues. So um, when I tried to hook up like a um, a home network, um, I was having issues and I didn't want to rent the, all those extra dongles that uh, AT&T may offer. I know Comcast advertised that a lot. So what I did to increase my Wi-Fi connectivity was use a Orbi. Um, I love this little Orbi network. It's starting to get old now. I'm going to have to upgrade soon, but this is what I'm using now. Uh, this is part of a mesh network. It has uh, uh, two satellites. This is the home um, uh, router. So, uh, capability of this. I turned off the Wi-Fi from this. That way I can get a stronger connection to go directly to my Orbi. All right. And I use this Orbi to build a mesh network. But remember, when I talked about this video, it was the solution I had uh, uh, for uh, the Internet. A lot of times when you're gaming, you get um, an unreliable connection when you use Wi-Fi. And if you have a lot of people doing Wi-Fi, that's a lot of network traffic and they start to interfere with each other. Especially if you have a brick house like mine with lots of insulation, um, you run into issues. So it's best to hardwire. It's best to hardwire your different systems. The problem came in was with this Orbi here. On the Orbi, you get one connection uh, going in and one connection going out so that only allows me to hardwire one system now that's great when i only had an xbox but when i'm trying to game on the playstation and game on my pc uh that became an issue so that so i had to come up with another solution so step one i turned i went inside the settings here and i turned off the wi-fi once i turned off the wi-fi i connected this straight to the orbi once I connected to the Orbi, I purchased this uh, network switch. Never knew what a network switch was until I needed it, right? So this network switch allows me to hardwire multiple devices. If you see here, this is less than 40 bucks. I think it was about 30 bucks on Amazon. Um, I have eight lines. Well, it's actually seven because one of them is going to be used. Uh, so you got seven different computers that can hook up. With this first switch, this is actually going, f coming from my Orbi. That way I'm on the same network. Because if I use this box, if I use the back ports here, they will be on different networks than my Orbi. So any computer I hook up to this will be on something different than this. So that's the reason why I only got this going to my Orbi here. 
I got the Orbi going to my network switch. My network switch just duplicates this signal, okay? So I got one going in, and here is going to my home office. Excuse the mess. So I'm doing work on my office, okay? This second connection here is going to my Xbox, and this third connection is going to my PlayStation, okay? So I got this one uh, computer, PlayStation, Xbox, Sun number one, Sun number two, and that, okay? So now we're all hardwired in, and we're all on the same network, so we get the local functionality. Um, we get to interplay with each other. If we need to uh, you know, trade media, we all on the same network. Now, let me show you. This is the second angle. As you see, I had it going, uh, all those cords there. That was on the other side of this wall behind my TV. As I have it hooked up to the PlayStation and the Xbox. Eventually, I'm going to use the other ports. I'm going to snake a little cord around here to go to my iMac. My iMac holds all my media right now. And as of now, we are streaming. Uh, we are streaming to Plex. Um, but um, we're going to hardwire that so that I can video stream all of our media throughout the house on the same network. Now, this here is the second of uh, the uh, three devices we have. So this is considered my first satellite because remember the first one is considered the original. My wife insists on having a plant there, so hopefully too much dirt is not going in there. But right here, the reason why this one is important because it's located right outside this window. That's another project. Uh, so this is right outside the window. That is very useful because it connects to all of my um, security devices around the house. Uh, so, you know, you got the, the Wi-Fi cams and all those things. This third port is located upstairs right outside the front uh, window. That way we can connect to the front window. This uh, third connection is hardwired to my son's. My uh, oldest son's computer, uh, he built his own little computer. You see, he used cardboard and stuff. That was pretty cool. He just grabbed scrap parts, put it together. Awesome. Only 10 years old. But anyway, uh, this is hardwired here, and it also runs the third level of our house. We live in the tri-level. So since we live in the tri-level, it's uh, very useful to have uh, uh, three uh, ports. That way, each uh, level of the house has its own strong connection. Yeah, I know um, there may be some better connections out there, but this really worked well uh, for my house to help us with our home network. So hopefully you guys can uh, take advantage of that and you can use it. Let me know. Leave some comments below. If you have any questions, maybe I can kind of go a little more in depth if I miss something. But just try it out. Go on Amazon. You can get the little Orbi uh, routers and then look for a network switch. Once you get the uh, network switch, uh, you should be good to go. And you hook that up. It works with Comcast and uh, AT&T or whatever local place you have. Please like and subscribe. I'm trying to build some numbers up so this could be a little more fun. Like when you see the numbers go up, people respond.